welcome to Pen to Profit. I'm Luis Berger and I'll be your host here. Now, before I give you any background story on me or why I'm qualified to be teaching this inside of Educate, I want to start this with a question. Do you know what's the best job in the world? Well, a few years back, a net ran all over the world, inviting people to apply to the so-called best job in the world. What was the job for? was an island caretaker, an island caretaker off of the coast of Australia to take care of some luxurious paradisiac islands there. And the requirements for the job was basically, you're gonna take the mayo, and as you take the mayo, you can talk to the delivery guy and take a, a hop on the plane to see the island from above. You can take care of the pool, and if you see if the pool is not clean, you can go there, clean, and then that's a good excuse for you to jump on the pool. You can also go and explore and feed the fish. Of course, you need to feed all the fish, but you can take that advantage to explore the island and make the most of it. So that was a pretty good job for sure. It would pay 150,000 Australian dollars, which is around 100,000 US dollars for a six month contract. Now that's a pretty good deal, I would say, right? I think you can agree with me here. Now, the thing is, I don't necessarily agree that this is the best job in the world. For example, the guy that took that position, after a while, after a few months there, he was stung by a jellyfish and almost died. I mean, I sh I'm sure he had a blast anyway, but I'm fine with not being stung by a jellyfish. Now, even though that's a great job, my problem with it is that at the end of the day, you're stuck in an island. For example, I really like to eat sushi. I like to go out with my girlfriend and my friends, eat some sushi. If I want to go on a Friday night, eat some sushi, if I'm stuck in an island, I cannot do that. Whatever you like to do, if you like to play soccer with your friends, if you like to go to the movies, Whatever you like to do, if you're stuck in an island, you cannot really do that. Although it's a luxurious paradisiac island, it's a great place to be, but you don't have access to the things you like to do there, right? So in my opinion, the best job in the world is a job where you can do from anywhere. Whatever that is from the comfort of your own home or from the beach on a paradisiac island, whatever that is from the coast of Australia or in Italy or whatever in the world you want to do. The best job in the world allows you to do work from whatever you are, as long as you have an internet connection and a computer. In my opinion, that's the best job in the world. And not only that, but a job that allows you the time freedom to do whatever you want. For example, this weekend, I just hopped on a plane and came here to London to meet with some friends. And it was Monday that I arrived here and it was around 4 or 5 p.m. We went to grab some drinks, had a bunch of fun, had some sushi, and we enjoyed a lot. Now. Monday, 5 p.m. It's not a lot of jobs that allow you to do that at that time of that day specifically, right? The job that I do allows me to do that. And the best thing is I can work from anywhere. So for example, when I was coming here, I was at the lounge at the airport. I was working there, didn't have anything to do. I live in the south of Brazil. I usually work from there, but it doesn't really matter to me if I'm at the south of Brazil or if I'm here in London, if I'm the US, Italy, whatever it is, I can work from anywhere. And that, in my opinion, is the best job in the world. It's one that allows you to live your life in your own terms and have the freedom to do whatever you want, whenever you want, from whatever you want. And also, on top of it, get paid very well to do so. And this is what this job allows us to do. So today, for example, when I want to make money, what I do is very simple. I send an email or I write a simple tweet. Sometimes even a simple text message does the job. Now, have you ever imagined that? Have you ever imagined being able to make money by sending a simple email? getting paid for every single email or text message that you send and getting paid well if you do it well? Well, so you might be asking what this job is specifically, what it is. This job, I call it making money with words. Some people call it a copywriter. I don't really like the word writer myself. I call it that because that's what most people use for it. But I don't consider myself a writer, to be honest. A writer for me is someone who writes TV series, TV shows. The writers, they have to think about word building, character development, character arcs, adding cliffhangers to the end of episodes to make sure they create anticipation for people to want to watch the next episodes. They have to think about a lot of things, be very creative, and that's a very complex job. And to be honest, I'm not sure if I would be able to do something like that. What I do is way more simple than that. What I do is I write simple sentences that make people take action, and that's it. And the real beauty of it is that in order to do that, I don't have to be very creative. I don't have to be a very good writer. All I do is I follow a few proven frameworks and a few proven copy structures, as I call them. And they have almost like fill in the blank templates where I just fill in the blanks the information for my specific audience that I'm writing to. 
And through that, I'm able to bump high converting copy that allows the businesses I'm running for to make a lot of money. And as a result, of course, I make a lot of money through it as well. And then I just have a few other frameworks that allow me to connect these few pieces of copy together and make that into an email, an ad, a sales video, whatever that is, I just follow those proven structures and they help me create those high converting pieces of copy. And the beauty of this is that anyone can do it. I was able to learn this without having any formal education, any background in marketing or in sales. I don't have a college degree. And in fact, I don't even speak English as my native language. I had to learn English on the way. So if I was able to do it without any of that, you can probably do it too from whatever you were right now. And you can do the same even if you don't have a job right now or if you don't have clients, if you don't have a business, if you don't have a product to sell, none of those are requirements to make this work and I'll show you how. In my opinion, this is the fastest and most consistent way to go from zero to $10,000 a month and now you show exactly, I'll give you a plan on how to do that at the end of this phase. But before I do that, let's understand a little bit better what we do here. The possibilities are basically endless. You can write emails, you can write ads, you can write sales letters, you can write product pages, landing pages, you can write sales videos, you can write videos. Sales videos and videos are a little bit different. I'm gonna explain exactly why they are different a little bit, but you can write tweets, you can write text messages, you can even write mail, like physical mail, and you can get paid very well to do so if you do it well. But there's one thing you have to understand here. Different formats pay differently. So for example, if I run email, that has a very different value than if I write a sales video or if I write a tweet. And also you have to consider how much time it takes to write each one of them. In half an hour, 40 minutes, you can write a pretty good email, a pretty long email as well. Now, in those same 30 minutes or 40 minutes, you can write a bunch of tweets, like literally dozens and dozens of tweets. Now, the thing is, why you can get paid more by writing mails than you can get paid by writing tweets? Because an email is way more valuable to a business than a tweet is. So for example, when you tweet something, you don't really generate any revenue out of it. A tweet doesn't have a goal of creating a sale. A tweet has more of a reach and brand awareness type of goal, while an email is usually linked to a sale. So for example, when you write an email, usually at the very end of it, you have a link, and that link usually goes to either a sales page, to an offer, to a product page, whatever that is, you can track very well to a dollar amount how much revenue that email generated based on the link you have driven people to. So if it was a product page, you can say, this email generated 354 sales from that specific product. And that creates a lot of revenue for businesses. And of course, as you can track that, that's way more valuable than a simple tweet that when you tweet it, you don't really know what happens. Probably nothing. You're probably not generating any sales out of it. Maybe you're getting a few followers out of it, but then how much those followers are worth to the business? Probably not much, right? So with an email, you have this very clear response as to what you're generating to a business. And that's why it's way more valuable for you to write an email than it is for you to write a tweet. Now, there's a few things that are even more valuable than emails. For example, writing a sales video or a sales letter, that's usually the main asset a business has to sell their products. So think about a typical e-commerce store. A very good e-commerce store that knows what they're doing, they're probably not gonna have a product page. They're gonna have a product page with a video on it. And this video is gonna go over the product and explain to you why you should buy it and why you should do it now. Now that single video is responsible to generating majority of the sales for that store, for that product. So if you write a good video there, you can generate a lot of revenue, even more than with emails to that specific business. And why is that? Because all the emails, they're probably gonna be pointing to that specific page. So that asset, that video you created is the main asset for that business to generate revenue. It is almost as if the video is like the salesperson for that business, for that online business. And there's an endless amount of businesses that take advantage of those methods here in the internet, mainly e-commerce businesses, info product businesses, there is like program courses, just like you have here on Educate. Also software companies, there's direct response companies that sell supplements, that sell health related benefits. There's a lot of different companies that take advantage of that. Now, I'm gonna explain to you exactly what is the best format for you to write for in every stage of your career, because of course it is better to start at one specific format and then move to other formats as you learn. And then as you progress in your career, you move to uh, higher value formats. Now, obviously it's better for you to start with few specific formats because those are easier to write and they pay well. 
And then as you learn to write those, you can progress to different formats of copy that pay even better. And then each stage of your career will have a few different formats that better match that specific stage. And I'm gonna show you all of that. Now, the most important thing for you to understand here is that a single message, a single well-written video or a single well-written page or email can change the course of an entire business. And as a result of that, can change the course of your career. It definitely did change mine. At the time when I first learned about marketing, I was in my third year in university going for engineering. I hated it, but it was the only thing I knew back then. And I thought in order to be financially free, I needed to follow the conventional path and become an engineer, which in my view was a high paying profession. Very early into school, I figured out that was not the case. And as I learned about marketing, I started to dabble with it a little bit. I started with SEO, which is search engine optimization. It's basically optimizing websites to show up on Google search first before all the other websites. Then I started to create a few websites. Basically, it was just buying templates for WordPress online and just changing what was written on the website. Nothing fancy. And I didn't make too much money with it, pay the bills, but nothing life changing, right? After I started doing that, I learned about affiliate marketing, which is basically people have products online and they pay you commissions to sell their products. So what I was doing that, I was taking all the money from those little clients, little jobs that I got from SEO and building websites. And I was reinvesting that into affiliate marketing by buying ads and driving those ads to order people's products and getting paid 30, 20% commissions to do so. I never made too much money with that. Majority of the time is just break even for the cost of that. But by doing that, I learned one of the most important lessons of my career. I learned that by keeping everything the same, the same website, the same product, the same sales video we have on the page, the same everything, only by changing one simple thing, one simple sentence, a few words on the ad there, think about a Facebook ad, by changing those little few sentences you have on the Facebook ad, I was able to double the amount of money I was doing just by changing those words. Not even changing the image or the video of the ad, just by simply changing the words on the ad, I can literally do twice as much I was doing with the words I had before there. And when I realized that, I started to study the art of writing those words, the right of arting words that make people take action. And that's what copywriting is, basically. And that's when I learned the power of copywriting. A few months after that, I got hired by Iman and I started to run ads for him, but I was not writing the ads, I was running the ads. I was a media buyer, getting paid 1500 a month, very entry level type of job. So the most interesting thing about this is that I remember very vividly when I applied to this position, I have a few assignments I had to complete. And one of them was to write a little piece of copy for a Facebook ad. And I remember when I jumped into the interview after that, the first thing the guy told me on the interview is that very clearly copy, writing copy is not your strong point. And he was right. Copy was not my strong point back then. I was not good at copy. But the, the funniest thing about this all is that one year after that, exactly one year after that, I wrote a single sales video, a single sales message that went on to completely change my career and the business I was working for, which was Grow Your Agency at the time that later on became Educate that you're seeing out here. I wrote one single video sales letter, that's what we call it, and we published that as a YouTube video. That one YouTube video went on to get more than 5 million views and completely changed the amount of sales we were doing at the time and the level we were running the business at. That video is now one of the top videos in the industry when it comes to video sales letter, arguably the one with the most views and the one that has generated the most revenue so far. And the funniest thing is that I wrote that two years ago and to this day, every single day, that video is making me money and is making money to the business that I work for. And that same video went on to be studied by all of our competitors, went on to be a case study in $100,000 a year masterminds, people are studying that, and probably is one of the most copied concept videos in all of this industry. And that video allowed me to go from an entry level salary to a CMO, a C-level executive, and get paid very well in that position versus the entry level salary you used to get all because of one single sales video. That is the power of copywriting. That is the power of one single well-written, well-structured marketing message. Well-written, well-structured sales video. Only one of them 
can change your career and again definitely did change mine now later on in the course i'm gonna break down exactly how i created that video and how i wrote it now before we go into that it's very important for you to understand that one single sales video can completely change the course of a business and as a result of your career and that's why i call copywriting one of the most forgiven careers there is out there because with one single text, one single message, you can make your career. And it doesn't matter how many times you got it wrong before that. It is the one career where you are allowed to fail as many times as you want because all it takes is one home run. One home run will take your career to the next level and after that, nothing will ever be the same. Because all it takes to make millions with this is being right once. Now, obviously, writing a sales video is way harder than writing a simple email or a simple tweet and later on in this phase, I'm gonna explain exactly how it started and how it progressed to the other uh, formats of copy. Now, before we go into that, I have one question for you. Do you know what's the number one job of a copywriter? Give it a shot. I doubt you even get close, but give it a shot anyway. If you're anything like me, you're gonna get more from the thought experiment than you get from getting the right answer. So just think about it and a few modules from now, I'm gonna tell you the exact answer. Now, before I give you the answer, on our next module, I wanna talk about how you can make money with words and how you can become a copywriter. So that was pretty much it for this module and welcome again to Pen to Profit.